Hello everyone, this is Cynthia and today we're going to be talking about child themes and what a child theme is. So I'm going to take you to a site here that a child theme was created for and we're going to go under appearance and we're going to go under the editor. And this right here shows you pretty much what was put in um, using a database or FPT file. We had to have created a database and then have an FPT file to have put this inside um, the WordPress platform. And a child theme was created and I will show you the theme. The theme, okay, so if you see here is iFuture 3, that was the theme that we created a child theme for. And what this basically does is if you make any customizations, um, any changes you make, uh, when you create a child theme, all those changes will stay there, won't be lost. But if I had not created a child theme and I just left it using the regular theme, any customizations that I would make, which I did in this case, would be lost every time there's updates. and I'll show one of the customizations that I made it's over here it's called new template name page template and what I did was I changed the footer in this case I changed the footer and so because I made this customization here um, if I didn't create a child theme um, all, the, all, all of my changes customizations would be lost so that's the reason why it, you know they advise you to create a child theme and it tells you right here this child theme inherits templates from the parent theme so the parent theme is the actual theme which is I feature 3 they call it and that theme gets changed it change I would say probably at least once a month there's updates and if you made any customizations like every time those changes would, would kick in any customizations you would make would be lost so your best bet is to make a child theme out of it and that way you know when, when those changes happen your theme doesn't get affected at all and it can stay there as long as you want and over here if you look at this over here you know it shows you this over here shows you every time there's updates and if this theme with regular theme every time this theme would get you know the changes what the updates would come I would lose I would lose all my customizations and it's like I would have to do it every time and I mean who wants to be doing that you want to create a site you want everything to stay where where it's supposed to stay you don't want to come one day and whatever you customize it has disappeared because there was updates and you went and you, and you did the updates and you lost your customization and it even told you here please note any customizations you have made two theme files will be lost. Please consider using child themes for modifications. So that's the reason why child themes are considered. So I thought that, you know, I'd make a tutorial to explain to people what does it mean and why should you have to create one. Now, if you're not gonna make no modifications that are, you know, big, then it's fine if you just use the theme and you don't create any, you know, you don't have to create a child theme. But if you're going to make any modifications, big modifications especially, and you don't want them to be lost every time there's updates, I would recommend to uh, create a child theme. Thank you so much, and I hope that this tutorial was helpful.